Hello and welcome to IP Innovative Training and Support. In this training and support series, we are welcome back with authors training and support. So we have six modules in this particular training and this is module one. In this module, we are going to discuss about writing and submission checklist. So let's start. Very important question that arises in our mind is what is research writing? Research writing can be defined as a process of academic writing after investigating on a specific topic. It is a rigorous and systematic approach to explore a specific topic and has commonly practiced in academic and scientific context. And it plays a major role in advancing knowledge, information, policy, decision, and fostering intellectual and scientific growth. What type of articles in publishing? Generally, we at IP Innovative publish review article, case report, case series, commentaries, short communications, letter to editor, and editorials. Now, key considerations before writing a paper. So, before writing a paper, we should focus on some basic key considerations like what should be the aim of the paper, what the journal should be, target audience, literature review. So, let's discuss one by one. The very important parameter is to know your audience. You should be aware, like, what kind of persons you're going to target by writing this paper. The next is selection of right journal for a manuscript. So the journal should be properly as per your paper means as an author, you should select a journal as per your research topic. More or less, it should fall under the scheme, aim and scope of the journal. Next is follow the author instructions very carefully before submitting or before even writing a paper. It is very important parameter to check the author instructions very carefully of that particular journal. Specify your goals, aims and purposes for the paper. Your paper should indicate properly the aim, the purpose, the goal of writing the particular paper. Perform an adequate literature of review. Procedure for ethical approval should be known like if required from the institution. So you should be very well aware about ethical approval. Then register a clinical trial in case of human or uh, in case of any animal in a clinical trial registry, then ensure proper control and statistical analysis. Create excellence figures and illustrations, ensure proper control and statistical analysis as well. Now, here, what is an ideal manuscript should have? So basically, before submitting a paper, before writing a paper, you should go through the submission checklist. Ready to submit your manuscript to a journal? Like here is detailed checklist to help you make sure that you should do everything you need to do before submission. Number one is manuscript format, manuscript structure, language and flow. Your manuscript should be well written. It should be uh, well developed, like tables and figures should be well prepared. Facts and details should be clear. Author information, again, author should, as an author, it's your primary responsibility to check author inst instructions of any journal attribution and acknowledgement, cover letter. Cover letter signifies the importance of paper for that particular journal. So it should be written very precisely and very uh, clearly. Then conflict of interest and compliances. Now, key consideration before submitting a paper. So these are some basic key consideration that an author should consider before submitting a paper to a journal, like who will be the corresponding author. So this question will be very clear to all the authors that the particular person is going to be corresponding author. Aim and scope of the journal, again, article formatting, grammar and spelling. Before submitting a paper, you should, you must ensure all the spellings are correct and the paper is grammatically okay, does not have any grammatical issues. Then authorship criteria and disclosure of conflict of interest if found any. Key considerations before submitting a paper. So, what your primary motto is to success, to get success in that particular research. So, first you have an idea, like what you are going to write, what you should write. Then there should be your clear mission, that what you want to show to the target audience. Team. Obviously, if you're doing any research article and if you have a involvement of team, you should mention each and every member's name clearly and with all the accurate information, like their required email ID, their contact number, their ORCID ID, all the and every information should be very clear. Then values, you should, you must value ethical considerations and guidelines of the publishing. 
then you should believe in faith. You should have some faith in the particular journal. Like in what journal you're going to submit your paper, you should have trust on the people who are going to handle with the paper. And the last the vision. Your vision should be very clear what you are going to show after uh, submitting this paper or after publishing this paper. So this was all about authors training and support module one. Thank you for being a part of this particular session. For more details, please visit our website uh, www.ipinnovative.com slash guidelines slash author or you must visit our MPRP www.mprp.in. Thank you. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos.